Hello, Tyler. Welcome to the Midday News Report. One of two men involved in a Tyler convenience store robbery this morning accidentally shot himself while fleeing the scene, according to Tyler police. The robbery occurred just before 5 a.m. when two men approached a clerk outside a food fast at 4201 University Boulevard. The men, dressed in all black with ski masks and armed with handguns, demanded cash from the clerk. In a search after the robbery, police found a man hiding in the woods behind the store. The man suffered a gunshot wound to the right leg. The man was identified as Jaquan Jamal Dawson, 18 of Dallas. Dawson was transported to a local hospital. Police still were searching for a second man suspected in the robbery. In national news, President Barack Obama's broad effort to reduce gun violence will include proposed bans on military-style assault weapons and high-capacity ammunition magazines, as well as more than a dozen executive orders aimed at making an end run around Congress's opposition to stricter gun control. Obama is expected to announce the measures today at a White House event. The package also includes efforts to stop bullying, and it also includes boosting availability of mental health services. CBS Sportsline has released its preseason top 25 college football rankings with a pleasant surprise at the top. Despite winning the national championship, Alabama was second to none other than Texas A&M in the CBS rankings. Rounding out the top five were Stanford at three, Ohio State at four, and Oregon at five. The Texas Longhorns came in at number 12, while TCU was 18th. In a New York Post reader poll, Lance Armstrong took the bronze in a vote on history's greatest liar. Ponzi scheme mastermind Bernie Madoff took the gold, while Tawana Brawley, who made false criminal al allegations, took the silver. Other notable liars were Richard Nixon in fourth, Pete Rose in eighth, and Millie Vanilli in ninth. In other rankings, Rolling Stone magazine released, released a list of top ten most annoying concert behaviors. At number one was taking pictures the whole show, followed by constantly checking email, Facebook, and Twitter, incessant talking, barking out requests, yelling free bird, people who push their way to the front, getting intoxicated, loudly complaining about a band not playing a favorite song, filming the whole show on a smartphone, and yelling sit down at those who are standing. I'd like to add being next to the guy with the sweaty pits who is fist pumping the entire show. You'll find another blockbuster Atwood circular in today's Tyler Morning Telegraph. This week, 50-inch by 16-foot cattle panels, apple-flavored deer corn, creep feed, fancy scratch chicken feed, grade 2 nuts, bolts, and washers, 60-inch rotary tillers, scratch blocks, duct tape, Big Mac propane torches, bulk horseshoes, pecan trees, mystic high-temperature grease guns, adjustable leg tripod sprinklers, and Brian's Buy of the Week, 33-ounce containers of Folgers Classic Roast Coffee for only $8.99. And that'll do it for the Midday Report. I'm Brian Pearson, Managing Editor of the Tyler Morning Telegraph.